If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are moving on to good old Pgrom, which is apparently very good in this new format. Um, with the new rules, there's now V Pokemon, therefore less Keldeo. Pgrom was also making a comeback towards this late Cosmic Eclipse metagame, I would say. So it makes sense that it would stay just as strong for certain shield. Pikaram was to 40 HP, full bit dealing 150 damage and powering up 3 energies, tag bolt doing 200 and possibly 170 to the bench if you have the right amount of energies, which is 6 or 5 with the stadium. We have Choo Choo, Tandem Shock, Paralyzing Stuff and Lightning Riding um, back to the bench for 150 or 250 with the right amount of energy. We have Coco V as a new inclusion, Spike Choice a decent attack, the free trade is super nice, um, dealing 20 and drawing 2 cards is okay. But Thunderous Bolt dealing 200 is just the same as Sack Bolt. It's actually our most powerful attack and it's not a GX attack. That's the key to this card. And also bypasses Keld, of course. We have Sapdos to pressure. We have Absol to mess with our opponent's Jirachis. We have Jirachi of our own. We have Marshall to get rid of Chaotic Swell before we play Thunder Mountain. We have Oranguru with the Primate Wisdom. So I can switch a card with the top from our hand with the top card from our deck. Conserving resources, but also possibly drawing an extra card. Drawing quotation marks. Coco Prism and finally Mimikyu to stop those pesky Mewtwo's. We have our good old Professor Research. And with Professor Magnolia, we have four Quick Bolts. And we have our Big Charm as well for the newer cards. So let's jump into a match, or into a ladder rather, and find some, um, some cool games, hopefully. <coughs> I know these three decks are not like the super most um, original decks they are not the most original decks but um, they're not the most original decks um, but the focus is competitive and we will eventually get to explore everything right like we have a good amount of time to just explore absolutely everything um, a dead hand once again that seems to be the trend um, my opponent chose to go first though surprisingly chose to go first um, <clears throat> playing Obstagoon once again so Obstagoon players choosing to go first but I feel like going first can be so underwhelming sometimes I don't know all right An acrobike. We see a Pokenav. We see a quick ball as well. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan, <laughs> for another. I think they go in Pokedab is interesting. So, people are really experimenting with the ways to build this deck. And load search. Uh, I don't think it's even worth it to attack with 
tap those. We go second, we have an advantage that way, and then we just... Oh well. Hello the Swift dude, thank you so much for being here, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the host, the Swift 2. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. And we got Marty, thankfully. Thankfully. Getting great catcher was not great. <laughs> I give up on life. Um, <laughs> Pokecom, the Mimikyu. So I'm just gonna quick pull whatever I top deck for today, right? And I'll switch into Zapdos, double electro power, and call it a day. I need Boltner to get a KO. That doesn't seem unreasonable, right? Is it? No, just one trainer. That doesn't seem unreasonable. How am I enjoying certain shields? Um, frustrating games for sure. Definitely running into some frustrating games. Okay, quick ball, quick ball. We'll take it. Um, but I mean, it's exciting to play with the new cards. I just feel like the decks are not allowing me to really play. <laughs> the decks are not allowing me to actually play. Okay. Volkner, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to draw something, right? I'm dead drawing again, right? I am dead drawing again, but at least I get um, Orangaroo to mess around with. And I get two prizes, so we'll take that. We'll take that, and we probably should be able to get Jirachi as well. So the biggest issue with Obstagoon, of course, is that um, you need to paralyze it first and then you get to attack it, which is not easy, right? It's not easily done. My whole hand will probably get Marnied, which is not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. All right. Oh, there's Rosa. There is Rosa. Obstagon, candy, and energy. <laughs> That's it too. I mean, you will lose half of your coin flips and win half of your coin flips, right? <clears throat> That's expected. That is to be expected. All right, so there's the Obstagon. Places the damage on the Choo Choo, which makes sense. Could I actually be able to find double custom catcher next turn? Not with this hand. I would need to top deck it, and I know I'm gonna top deck the energy. Um, I'm not getting Marnied either. Yeah, so the biggest issue is that, like, that constant flow of um, attacks. I guess I should have. Was tackle my prize? Yeah, tackle was part of my prizes. Okay, has Cynthia for next turn. <clears throat> Pokinab. Pokinab is super interesting. Super interesting inclusion. These come in the Sword and Shield things, right? So that's why a lot of people were able to, to do it. And Nosuke, it, it, Sword and Shield literally came out two hours ago. Three hours ago. Yeah, it literally came out two hours ago. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and use Primate Wisdom first. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, do I really feel lucky enough to to get um Yeah no I really don't. I wish Zapdos had 20 on it though. I want 
play skateboard on the, the Dene. I wish Zapdos would have been, would be KO'd, right? Um, I guess I will Professor's Research. Sure. All Professor's Research. I'm not liking the regular GXs, maybe I just need to get used to them, but I'm not a big fan of how it looks so far. <laughs> um, I was almost going to go into the Juju. Okay, maybe with the fact that I have all four of my custom catchers left, yeah, maybe I can play around the obstacle at some point. Right? Maybe I can. Um, I don't know, why haven't I uploaded videos on YouTube? I don't know if you can hear my voice. I've been sick for the last two, two weeks, to the point where I could barely talk. You know, or I couldn't talk, rather. So, that's the main reason. <laughs> that is the main reason why I haven't uploaded videos to YouTube, because I've been very sick. And I'm, I still am sick. You know? Okay, rare candy, another second, that's fine. There's also the possibility to go custom catcher and then tack bolt at some point. There's also that possibility. Um, I don't mind paralyzing this though. Like I generally don't. This is I'm gonna need another electro part. Like I paralyze and then I would need to lightning ride for the full amount to get a KO. Well, there's me, so never mind the tack bolt. <laughs> That's a green water bottle indeed. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Saptos. Um, I feel like I should just let go of the Zapdos. I feel like I should just let the Zapdos go down. It means I get an energy attachment, uh, an extra energy attachment, I guess. It means, um, Coco B can bypass. I have one custom catcher prized, so you gotta keep that in mind. I, I feel like because of the switch, I'm actually just gonna let the Saptos go down. It is one price, that's also very nice, right? Um, like, my opponent shouldn't be able to get out of the Paralysis next turn. That's the main thing. Yeah, that's the main thing. Oh, no. <laughs> well, no, that was not part of the plan. And I lose my Volkner, my Switch, and my Custom Catcher, all in one go. <laughs> yep. Greedy Pablo. Greedy Pablo got punished. Well, no, that wasn't greedy. He had one card in hand. Okay, at least he wasn't able to just place a damage counter and I had to promote something else, right? So now I paralyze. Thank you very much. That's very nice. That's very kind of you. Um, so I'll do this. Definitely getting these. And then I feel like I attach here and then I research. Could have benched the peek around perhaps okay so I could get a knockout but I don't think I need to do that right now I'm gonna permit wisdom the energy I think I do bench the absolute though <laughs> energy for energy so that he can't like have an easy retreat into the Mew okay so we don't damage but we do paralyze right and the next turn we can get the kill I'll probably do it with lightning, right? That way the choo choo is on the bench and I don't have to use a switch. And then I have paralysis once again. Hola, Lima. Bien, y tú? How does Speaker on deal with this deck? I mean, you're looking at it. You apply early pressure, right? So I don't have to take that many prizes. And then you go paralysis into KO, paralysis into KO, paralysis into KO. Of course, it's all dependent on them not drawing switches which I would be surprised if my opponent hasn't drawn me. But I mean, the fact that he has Acrobikes and Pokenaps makes me think that he's not running a high amount of switching cards. What's a Mimikyu for? For Mew3. Yeah, Mew3 is a very big threat. Mew3 is a very, very big threat. And you could maybe like attack a Keldeo GX with Zapdos and then you can finish it off with Pikaram. Right. Oh, 
All right, so we have knockouts, right? I don't think I'm gonna need this GX attack. Yeah, if if the Mew was not there, yeah, I still wouldn't be able to do it. I could attack switch to attach. No, still no attack bolt. Okay, I have this already, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and primate wisdom. Energy for Electro Power, it's not terrible at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Lightning Ride. So two prizes, and I have still I still have my two custom catchers, so that's really fantastic. And there's a possibility of a misplay right here by Promo and MU. Okay, my custom catcher is still prized. My custom catcher is still prized. Jolton GX is still playable. You could play an EV GX or a regular EV. Like, if this becomes such an issue, you could play it. You generally could. The problem is you need two Electro Powers to... You need two Electro Powers um, to, to KO one Obstacle, right? That is an issue. Um, I'll reuse my GX. damage to the active, I don't think that matters. Marley didn't choose to promote the Mew. Am I getting Marnie? Am I getting stamped? That thing is a little scary. Oh no, that thing means I win. Well, ugh, not, in, not anymore. There's a possibility I win now. By benching the table eye, there's a big possibility I win now. Uh, not with this hand though. Come on. Not with this hand though. Okay, um, so let's do tackle. Okay, let's, let's do primate wisdom. Electro power. I mean, I should paralyze, right? That's my last electro power though. So I can still retreat and knock out with full blitz. That's still a possibility. I don't think my opponent play switches. We would have seen one by now. Which is a big oversight, right? If you play two, three switches, you have a very good chance of just out of winning Picarum. If you play four, then it's just there's no chance. Picarum could play Electros though. Electros is another way you can deal with with Obstacoon. Electrus is another way you can deal with Obstagoon. Okay. Macro. Macro. Or is he digging for a switch? I mean, we could just win by deck out at this point, honestly. Shrine. Nope, just passes. Mm. Switch. Okay, switch gets me the knockouts with this. And then he knocks me out, and then that's fine, right? That is absolutely fine. Yeah. Because the Dene doesn't go down. Oh, the Dene goes down to a six Zagoon. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, six Zagoon, I lose. Yeah, if you have six seconds in hand, I just lose here. Five prizes in one turn, yeah. I mean, I tried, right? I tried. The, the Marnies both times just completely killed me. The Marnies both times just completely killed me. No six seconds prized, I guess. Yep, and then Dex himself out. I thought of maybe not attacking, right? 
I thought of maybe not attacking. <sighs> that was close. That was close. Yeah, I think Electros might be the way to go in order to have a better matchup against Obstagoon. Maybe I'll add it now. The thing is, you can't search for Electros, though. Because we're not running Pokecom anymore. There's only Quick Balls. So you'd have to play Pokecoms and Quick Balls and Radar and Tackle, and it starts getting super, super messy for sure. Super, super messy for sure. Okay. Alright, Jirachi start, going first, never a bad thing. I have a pretty good hand. I'm going first so I don't need to bench anything else. Okay, so... Losing the switch sucks, right? But not the end of the world. Discard the energy. Go, go. Discard... Losing energy switch also sucks. For for Absol, just to mess with my opponent immediately, right? And let's go, did it change? Uh, missing energy for turn is so big. Missing energy for turn is so big. Oh, thank you. Still wish. Oh, I should. Should I have still wish first? No, I don't. I don't know. I actually don't know. Um, Volker, be... I feel like the custom matcher is the best card to grab here. Okay, and it has. We should have um, guaranteed full bits next turn, which is great. I second I thought it was ADP Mali, but I mean not ADP Mali, Mew Mali, Mali, but clearly it isn't. Alright. Okay. So do I just KO this guy. I feel like there's merit to KO in the Jirachi. Right? I do feel like there's merit to KO in the Jirachi. Um, I want to sell which first. Okay. Okay, so this Volkner, I'm going to go for a switch with it. And I, I want to KO the Jirachi purely because. Uh, wow, touching energy last turn was so huge. <coughs> Purely because, um, what? <laughs> um, the music stops for some reason. Yes, I am watching. Well, technically, I'm not watching. Um, I forgot what I was saying, but, anyways, I'm just gonna power up this guy. I'll put back the energy, that works. Get another switch, I'm always happy about that. I feel like long term getting rid of Jirachi is better. Because then he doesn't have that pivot. Right? He doesn't have that extra reach with Stella, which that makes my Marnie a lot more impactful. My potential. Do I play Resist Time? I forgot. Um. Jim, what action you did? play it badly, you just, I think your deck really likes, lacks switch, you know? If you had switch in the deck, I think you would have stumped me. Um, I assume you're Chrono DK, right? And the Swift 2, what are my thoughts on Mali in certain shields? Spell tag Mali, I don't, I don't know, I haven't tried it. It might still be viable, I don't see why it wouldn't be viable. Um, but it seems like Mewtree's Mali is super dominant, right?
<clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get damaged, but I have the paralysis. Yeah, I think, I think, I definitely think, like, the only answer this deck has is paralysis. So you really need to be playing at least two, maybe even three switches in off second. Maybe even four. Yeah, maybe even four. Okay, so I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna still wish for Electro Power. And then I do want to attach an energy this turn. I'll put back the Picarum. Tackle. Sure, and then we'll just play it. I'm not liking the tackles on Guzma Hollows, honestly. This is the, the list that won. Do I want to attach energy? No, I don't want to attach energy, actually. No, I do. Okay. If I... If I get tackled off next turn, that would be fantastic, right? Do I have gonna hit this turn? No, because I didn't have Volkner. Okay, I'll still paralyze. No, I can get it next turn though with Kuzma Hall in the stadium and the energy if it's in there, which I should know, but I don't. So, um, there's double Obstagoon now, I'm not scared of this guy, I think I go for Attack Bolt, right? I just hope I have the cards. <laughs> I do, I do have them. Let's say, let's pretend I, I was good and I did check for that, okay? So we're gonna do... Okay, let, let's make sure we do this right. I don't even need the cost of gadgets, which is fantastic. I don't even need to play the cost of gadgets, which is really, really, really good. Um, this guy's weak to lightning. So I definitely won't be needing this. He didn't play a switch, right? I didn't miss that, no. Okay. Now we tack bolts and go double bop on the obstacles. Double Bob on the obstacles for sure. Two prizes, totally worth it. Next turn we go custom catcher, get rid of this guy, and then we have two GXs against this guy. And getting rid of the Jirachi Pivot, I think that was insane. get more need so no custom catchers no custom catchers once again every time we feel like we might be able to do that we can't <laughs> um, this hand's definitely not gonna do it okay so we get extra 10 damage not the biggest of deals um, I think I definitely need to switch here into the Jirachi. My, my, oh, I was gonna say my professor's research is at the bottom of the deck, but the other one was at the top. <laughs> um, do I care about the tag switch? 
I feel like I do. And I'm gonna attack switch from this one to the Dene. Uh, walk down, yeah, to the Dene. Because if I'm gonna, if I end up having to deal with the poke at all, I don't mind doing it with the Dene at all. Right? I really don't. And then Professor's Research. And no chance for custom catchers in there. Um, I'll discard this. Grab the Zapdos. Okay, so what are my. I have 4 out of 14. If I use Primate Wisdom, I get super lucky with a custom catcher. No. Not quite Stowish. No. Wow, not a single one to choose from. Okay, so then we'll do it with this guy. All right, because that's not getting KO'd anytime soon. Do I even need to attach? I should. Uh, no, I won't attach. I'll just static shock. So weird. Ah, very underwhelming turn though, for sure. Very underwhelming turn. Like, if I had a custom catcher in hand, I would be very confident in this. Alright. Okay, there's the Evolution Incense, there's the Obstagon. Can't believe we got rid of two and now we have to deal with another one. Still need to deal with another one. Okay, switch. What? Okay, we'll take this. I will happily electropower KO Jirachi with the Dene. The Dene GX. The Savage. That's that's what this the Dene GX is called. The Dene GX the Savage. <laughs> the Dene GX the Savage. Um, yeah, there's no way for me to get custom catchers this turn, so it'll just have to be the 10 AGX the Savage. I'll Volkner, and then sure, I'll Primate Wisdom the Drachi. Oh. Um. I'll just keep them in hand. Static Shock. Yeah, now I get it. When it's l a less likely I get it, when I don't, then... I feel like off of one card, we would have been able to successfully um, to successfully do this, you know. Um, with such a low card deck, I still had switches, I still had electro power, so I probably would have been able to deal with this obstacle. And then off of top decks and whatnot, dealing with the last obstacle or setting up a fourth obstacle that would have been very impressive for my opponent to to pull off. But yeah. When you still wish before you primal wisdom so you don't hit one of the cards you put back and get a shuffle the swift to okay so the thing is for example if in that situation if I still wish and find a custom catcher I should grab it right but then that reduces greatly the chances that I will get a custom catcher off of the primate wisdom but if I get a uh, like the reach is one card versus five but if I get a, a custom catcher off of the oranguru then my still wish has a very decent chance of finding me that other um, custom catcher. Yeah, so I don't know if that makes sense. That was my logic at least, and I think that's correct. Um, all right, so that will be all for Pigram. Um, unfortunately, I do have to get going to do other things. Um, I might stream later. I might stream later today. Um, I might stream later today again, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to everyone who joined me today. I really appreciate it. And a special thanks to Henry for uh, the 10 gifts. 
And yeah, I'll try I'll try to stream more and to have more original decks. Yeah, I will definitely play Macario, we'll definitely play Stasia and Malcario, but I would also like to play um, Rillaboom and Frostmod and all the good stuff, okay? No, no, I know you weren't doubting me. This was, like, I, I'm explaining to you why my my logic. Yeah, perhaps I, I definitely didn't explain it at the time. That was my logic, and I feel like that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I will see you. Um, I will see you all maybe later today again. All right. Bye-bye.